Recently got a comment in one of my videos saying they're excited for all this stuff in the event. And they said, I've addressed this before, but they wish I covered more content outside of paleo lore. Well, I occasionally do these videos where I ask the community, hey, bleh. it's usually at the end of the video, like, hey, what do you guys think of this? And then I'll use that information in another video. And then I asked my Discord the same thing, saying, hey, leave it in this area. What do you guys think? Let me know. And also before everything, I wanna say thank you so much for all the comments in the last video, because I was very, I'm still a little sick, but I was very, very sick and sleep deprived. I honestly don't even remember, I, I had the idea for the video and I remember kind of doing it, but I don't really remember piecing it together and putting it out there. I did get one thing wrong in there though, and that was my flu brain. Ooh, Oopsie poopsie, my bad situation. I said that hot pot goes up to 15 rounds. No, that's not true. Even though I'm still wrong, the information that I had says it goes up to 20 rounds, but I was supposed to say, I don't make it past 15. I was sick, my bad, I apologize. But today's video is the do's and don'ts of paleo. This is a bit controversial, okay? I understand that everyone has different do's and don'ts. I got this idea from watching my friend Wolfie. She's another paleo content creator, by the way, if you haven't seen her before, she's awesome. She makes amazing how-to videos that you guys need to check out. But in her videos, she talks about the unwritten rules of paleo. Things that doesn't need to be said, but they're basic guidelines that you do in the game. And she has been saying this since like one of her first videos on Paleo. So watching those videos, it sparked this idea in me, another little community discussion. And I asked everyone, what are the do's and don'ts of Paleo? So let's go ahead and dive into the video. As stated earlier, while watching my friend Wolfie's videos, she has always brought up the unwritten rules of Paleo, and she has been saying this for a very long time. She's pretty much has taught the masses in her how-to videos since the early beta, the, the etiquette of paleo. But while she has referred to the etiquette of paleo, I do like to live by my personal do's and don'ts. Today's video will get controversial. Why? Because everyone's do's and don'ts are completely different. No one has the same do's. I mean, some people have the same do's and don'ts, but some are gonna be drastically different than the other. Before we go farther into the video, I do wanna say that no one speaks for you. Your do's and don'ts are yours. One of the things that irks my taters the most is when some dude is like, I believe I speak for everyone when, no, no you don't. He doesn't speak for me, he doesn't speak for you, he speaks for himself. Don't let anyone speak for you. You speak for you, okay? I want I want to embed that into your brain. But before we get into Pelia's do's and don'ts, why are they important? And MMOs, there are certain do's and don'ts that can enhance your gaming experience and help you navigate the virtual world more efficiently. Following the do's and don'ts in any MMO is crucial for maintaining a positive and thriving gaming community. By adhering to the guidelines, let's say some are cheating, scamming, and harassment, these are just some examples, by the way, players ensure fair competition and uphold the integrity of the game. This fosters an environment where everyone can enjoy the game without fear of being cheated or mistreated. Moreover, engaging in helpful behavior, communication, cooperation, and gameplay allows players to build relationships, form alliances, and enjoy social interactions within the game. By following the do's, such as goals, game mechanics, and cooperating with others, players can grow to improve their skills and progress in the game, leading to a sense of achievement and fulfillment. However, ignoring the do's and engaging in negative behavior not only disrupts the gaming experience for others, but also diminishes personal enjoyment and progression. Therefore, it is essential for players to respect the guidelines, foster a positive atmosphere, and contribute to a vibrant and welcoming gaming community. So pretty much, the do's and don'ts aren't just how to act. It's how to play the game. This is based on the individual. By the way, if you haven't noticed, that's another reason why I want to pick this video, is because I know it's going to be controversial. I want to see both sides of the coin. If someone says one thing, I want to see if someone in the comments on YouTube going, uh, no, that's wrong. I want to see that. <laughs> Now don't confuse the do's and don'ts with etiquette. Do's and don'ts typically refer to a specific rules, guidelines, or behaviors that are encouraged do's or discouraged don'ts within a particular context. In the context of MMOs, do's and don'ts often pertain to gameplay mechanics, community interaction, and adherence to the game's terms of service or code of conduct. Then there is etiquette. 
Etiquette encompasses a broader set of unwritten social norms, or as Wolfie would like to say, unwritten rules of paleo. These customs and behaviors that govern interaction within a social group or society involves consideration of politeness, courtesy, respect, consideration of others' feelings and sensibilities. So the unwritten rules of paleo cater to how to be kind to another player, what's appropriate, what's inappropriate. The do's and don'ts are more of like, hey, when you're doing this, try to refrain from doing this. Like a good example would be recently, there was an exploit on the Switch. You can have a crab pot pie party and everyone that had participated in this exploit made a lot of money. I'm not saying I participated. And since they participated in the exploit, a lot of people were given a message by Singularity6 saying, hey, don't do that shit. That breaks our terms of service. And then they're also like, we're watching you now. The reason why that's a don't is once again, it breaks the terms of service. It goes against what the game is. However, if you ask people, is that a don't? In my opinion, it's a don't. But if you ask another player, they can have a completely different opinion of the matter. They could say, hey, it's a beta and we were beta testing. We were making sure during the final product, this isn't here. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna figure out the exploit, do the exploit and then report back to you in a bug. And to be honest, they're not wrong on that, in my opinion, but don't, don't break the terms of service. So I posted, I asked, hey, what are some personal do's and don'ts of Paleo? And this is what the Paleo community had to say. I'm gonna try to break it down. In Discord alone, I think I got like, 30 responses, so I picked out like 15. Some were very long, some were very short. I even participated in one. So let's go ahead and bring up the one that I said. This one is also more of a formal apology as in my bad. Do when doing a supply run, check the server before you go. Sometimes you get a dead server in Bahari and that is a good pickings for paleo. Don't get mad at me when I thought I was on a dead server and I had no idea others joined the server then flipped out on me when I'm on <laughs> the paleo and then so I was running around Bahari because literally for 20, 30 minutes, I was the only person in the server. So I was mining Pelium. So there was a big node and I started just mining it down. And then I looked behind me and there was a group of three and they all stopped like dead in their tracks. And I could tell one dude was just getting ready to start typing. So I quickly left the server. So my bad dude, I apologize. Kit says, do check your renown regularly. I had no idea it had a thousand cap and I was saving it for quite a while before I realized that there was a cap on it. That one I agree with, definitely check your renown. Go buy something with it. Go spend, go spend it, okay? Getting renown is, is very easy in the game. Just, just play, keep moving forward. Lorelai says, do. Save your gold to upgrade your chest, copper, and iron from Tish's furniture shop to increase your storage limit. I agree to this one. I It took me a while to upgrade to iron and life was an absolute struggle bus because I wanted to buy everything else. I didn't think it was an absolute necessity. I didn't think I really needed it. Turns out it has made the game so much easier and I can actually hoard a lot more. So definitely, yeah, save up your money, get the copper and iron chests. Arbird, do fish next to someone to give them a boost, but don't fish the star quality node if they're currently fishing it. Simply wait until they're done as it can be distracting when multiple people are fishing it at once. I agree to that one. I have yoinked my pole out of a hole <laughs> because I thought I hooked a fish. Turns out it was somebody else. Yeah, for that one, I, I do agree with. Please be courteous of other players when they're fishing in a node. When it's your turn, it's your turn. Pretty much, if, if it's your turn up next, like, don't make a line. I feel like that's too efficient. They did that in World of Warcraft at one point. There was a line to get a quest because it, there was a whole situation. As kind as that is, that would bug me for some reason. Heidi says, don't form a party to go grove chopping and not call out the grove to other players. Multiple times I've experienced a group of people just chopping down the grove and not call it out. Yes and no to that one. The reason why I'm saying yes no yes when you get to a grove call it out all right definitely call it out be like hey there's a grove here don't immediately start chopping down the grove but once you announce that there's a grove in my opinion if you don't hear back in like a minute from anyone saying on my way or anything fair game now if someone says hey on my way and then you see another person say on my way you wait till 3 a.m if it's past three chop it down you had from 12 to 3. Now, since the Lunar New Year event is going on with the Maji Market, people are getting to the groves a little bit later, around 7 a.m. in the morning. To me, it's the same thing. From 7 to 10, you can wait and then chop. We could say 12. From 7 to 12, hold the grove. Anything past then, 
chop it. Me, I'll wait till 10, but I'll ask you. You guys wanna wait till 12? We can do that. Pretty much what the party wants to do. But there's been several times that I've run into a grove at like 3 p.m. And me and my friends have chopped it down because it's 3 f***ing p.m. The Lunar New Year event is happening soon. We're chopping this down. People have gotten mad. Now, we did announce that there's a grove up. No one said anything. We waited like a whole minute. We chopped it down. We have places to be. Take that one with a grain of salt. I do agree with Heidi to an extent. Regina says, do mine everything if you want pelium to spawn there must be a place for it so take out rocks and iron too also many different kinds of star stones drop from stone nodes i agree to that i collect everything i mine everything uh, because i just i'm tr i have yet to get a, a star quality star stone at all and it's starting to really irk my f***ing taters do upgrade your inventory bag as soon as possible it sucks to run out of room and not be able to pick something valuable up i agree to that one that's a good do frank says do Make your rounds to greet the NPCs and make sure you find out what they want. Yes, make your rounds with the NPCs and find out what they want. The best time right now to do that is at the Lunar New Year event because everyone is in one area. One of the best things that I've done is I talk to everybody, figure out what they want, and the very next night, bring everything and then gift everybody. Jenner says don't. She doesn't want you to rush through the game. She says take your time, explore every nook and cranny, especially if you're new. There's a lot to find and enjoy. Play at your pace. Yes to that. One of the things that I do and I've been doing is I'm playing almost at a snail's pace. I take my time. I focus on one NPC. As I'm focusing on one NPC, I'm talking to them. I'm figuring out what they want. And another reason why I do that is because I like to gather lore and information on each NPC. But yeah, play at your pace. That that's that's the key here. If you want it, if you want to cheese through the game, that's how you do it. Simply Jez says, do. Observe your surroundings when chopping trees or mining. I feel like she's calling me out on that one. Let others join you. It helps you advance certain skill points. Don't hog all the mining nodes without calling them out. Yes and no. Once again, check your server. It's up to you to call it out, especially if it's Pilium. This also depends on your party size. So if you're going in there four people deep, there's absolutely no reason to call Pilium out because you're most likely all four of you are going to smash that Pilium node. So yeah, it kind of depends on what's going on. It depends on the situation. Abigail says, do save your nap weeds because they might come out with some tea recipes later on. I think they are, and I have a good reason to believe that they are. So I do agree with this. Save some nap weed. Have a handful ready. Cynthia says, don't take the game too seriously. It's a game and there'll be more flow trees and pal nodes. I agree to that. Uh, don't freak out. I understand that you're out there grinding and trying to get flow and pow nodes. If you see someone just knocking things down, you don't necessarily have to be a dick about it. They may not know. A lot of people are on Switch and a lot of people aren't really involved with YouTube communities and these basic understandings of the game. They do live in their own bubble. That's perfectly fine to me. I will never get upset if someone smashes a Pelium node right in front of me. Now, if I walk up and I'm about to hit and they finish, that's when I'm like, all right, buddy. I won't say anything, but I'm like, okay, but that wasn't nice. But don't rip someone's throat out because they did something that you didn't like. All right, we're all human. We're all playing the same game. We're all just trying to enjoy our day. You can definitely make it an educational moment if you want, if you choose to. You can say, hey, look, when you see other people coming for the node, or if you see a Pelium node, do you mind calling it out? I'd greatly appreciate it. Something like that. Mishi says, do mix up your crops with different crops that have different bonuses for neighboring plants. I don't do this. I don't care to do this. I, I just like farming and gardening the way I want to garden. However, there is a bunch of bonuses on doing this. So do I do it? No, do I recommend it? Yes, I recommend it if you're not like me. I like having a full crop set of one thing, grow a bunch of it, seed it, pickle it, or use it for cooking, and then I move on to the next one. But that, that's entirely on me. You guys can have your own way for that one. Jin says, don't, just go running through a field. It's this awesome and living, our sound and music moment, singing the hills are alive, but, I'm like over here hunting a rare magical creature, so stop running without looking around you. I do this a lot. I just full, just knees to chest, running through Bahari,
because I see something shiny and I want it. You could be like me and not aware of your surroundings. I am very unaware of my surroundings all the time. Yes, be considerate of other players, but sometimes you could forget and that's that's totally fine. Athena says, do learn how to fish in Pelia. It's not rocket science. Some people do struggle, girl. Some people struggle. I know a lot of people that struggle in fishing games and don't not watch Percy stream unless you have a good excuse that yeah you that's entirely on you though you could watch the stream if you want i like this one i i think this is awesome meg says do look up cooking recipe guilds if you suck at cooking just like irl i'm not that great in paleo and i hate wasting rare goods we have cooking parties all the time in the stream if you want to cook something and i'm streaming come on and let me know saying hey i need to cook this we will help you 110 percent we will help you but yeah i agree if you suck at cooking and you and you fuck up a lot reach out reach out to people that that's one of the biggest things about community sim games it is a community and we're here to help now the last one is a tall order from who or bean aka bean a good and awesome community member and friend of mine she said i forgot to add mine do make purrs pay a partner singularity six looking at you do it <laughs> do it do seed your potatoes preserve your tomatoes and throw the cakes to the glowworms to make a few extra gold i recently found out if you put sweets in the glowworm area you get better shit. so definitely definitely do that do keep your eye on paleo time six for selling the morning is for the garden do talk to as many npcs as you can friendships matter and you can get neat items sometimes or even things you need for a quest or bundle do use the perks from food this makes or breaks some fishing trips don't keep making purrs wait for paleo partner <laughs> singularity six he's busting his butt trying to make sure we stay interested in, in the game well yeah <laughs> don't hold on to everything hard and i'm guilty of hoarding yeah i i hoard a lot too i'm at the point now where i'm just selling a bunch of stuff don't be afraid to ask for help the community like this one here my my discord community is super friendly and helpful don't be afraid to ask for help we everyone is here to support each other don't go chasing waterfalls just stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to don't be greedy with mining and harvesting Spotted darty clove. Darty cloves are something that you definitely need to call out. I agree. Darty cloves, call it out. Shoot a flare. Yes. Don't forget that you can repair your tools in both Bahari and Kilima. Yes, you can. In the central stables, you can repair your tools. It makes everything easy. You don't have to leg it all the way to Sifu. Can't find a resource you're looking for? Server hop. Yes, that is a good, good advice. I do that frequently, especially when I do something on accident and people are looking at me. I just, I just leave. So that's it. That is the video you guys heard from the Pelia community. What is some do's and don'ts you guys do or don't? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there commenting, be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload a video. But if you want to know the exact moment that I upload a video, because I will annoy the shit out of you with pings, join the Discord. We have our own link now. It's Discord slash tavern dwellers but they'll be in the description down below it is a super happy and friendly community everyone is just warm and welcoming except for brutal brutal is my mod but he is a dick. i love him he's my best friend and he's he's on top of his game he is he is literally one of the best mods you can ask for and if you're watching this right now it's a tuesday or a thursday and sometimes mondays around 12 p.m eastern standard time to around 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am most likely streaming on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash PersivalGG. Come on by. Say howdy. Let's discuss this video. Everyone is happy to go back and forth with you, and we don't believe in strangers. So come on in and see howdy. But that's the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.